Saan na abot ang 2,500 mo? Bagong damit? Bagong bag? A lunch buffet? Eh yung life and disability insurance? Yung critical illness insurance at ipon para sa retirement? Tahalagang 2,500 pesos buwan buwan? Posible yan! Wanna know more? Talk to our financial advisor and follow our Facebook page, Investing Made Easy PH. Because investing in your future is an act of self-care. Welcome to My Piece of Matters. Ako po ang inyong host, Roma of the Roma Miklat Show. And the other half of the show ay walang iba kung hindi si Mr. Rieslat of Investing Made Easy PH. On our second episode, dito sa My Piece of Matters, hindi lang kami ni Therese ang mapapanood nyo today. Opo, tama po yon. May guest po kami! Yay! <laughs> and, <laughs> and to give us a quick introduction kung sino ang makakasama natin today sa show, here is Therese. Thank you, sis. Uh, it's nice to be back. Uh, our guest for today is Miss Emily and Sir Kokoy Espina. Miss Emily worked in the banking industry while Sir Kokoy's background is with the electronics industry. And together, they are a power couple and business owners of Tiger's Eye Stone Life Insurance Industry, also known as Teslia in Desmarinas, Cavite. Ang lahat ng yan when we come back. Ayan. Thank you so much po, Sir Coco and Miss M. And uh, we're very thankful na napaunlakan niyo po ang aming munting show despite your very busy schedule. And um, before po tayo mag-umpisa, kamusta po kayo? Uh, well, thank you for having us. Uh, we're very glad you invited us to your show, Roma and Therese. Uh, we're very, I mean, we're, we're excited actually to do this show because... Uh, it's all about wellness naman eh, at the end of the day, what we're going to talk about. For me naman, uh, of course, nahihiya ako. Hindi ka na try camera ako, but it's okay. At least Coco is with me. So, yan, siya nagbibigay sa akin ng lakas na doob. Oh, oh wow. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miss Emily, Sir Kokoy, may we ask, can you tell us, uh, how many years are you married na? Oh, 20 years na kaming naglokokan sa isa. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, congratulations. Parang kitang-kita talaga, naka-anchor ka talaga, Miss Emily, kay Sir mm -hmm. Kokoy. No? Oh, pero Miss M, so po kayo mag because this is gonna be, like, we'll try our best to make it very comfortable for you, for, of course, for our guests. Eh, pero ang una naming tirada, gano'n na po kayo katagal kasal? <laughs> yun agad yung tanong na. <laughs> no, yes. but, but, uh, but uh, of course, we want the, our audience to know that um, this is a very, itong usapan na to is relationship and finance, so talagang, personal. But, yun nga, again, we're thankful na pumayag yung guest namin kasi syempre, makiki, kumbaga, makikichismis kami on how they go through, you know, relationship and finance. And, um, sundutan ko lang yung tanong ni Mr. E, Sir Coca and Ms. Ems, paano po kayo nagkakilala? Um, <laughs> it was in year 2000, uh, no, no, 1997 or 1910. 1997. Uh, I visited Cebu, <clears throat> and my lolo introduced her to me. <laughs> Nung sinabi niya may maganda doon sa province natin, sabi ko wala naman eh, niloko mo ako lolo. <laughs> and then when I saw her, ah, I was wrong. He was right. Sabi ko, tama ha, you have a good eye, lolo. Hindi na pinakawalaan. That three days stay dapat ended up to two weeks because I met her. Uh, wow. Thanks to Hindi that lolo, no? 
Yes. Mag- ano, Lolo has eye for ano talaga, beautiful. Yes. Uh, so, alam niya ako ano makakabuti sa'yo, Sir Coco. Yes. And uh, ever since that, ever since then, hindi na kayo naghiwalay? As in, ano na, diretso na sa sa kasalan, yes. gano'n? Seven, we were uh, together. And But then, it was a long distance. It was uh, LDR, kung anong gamit ang term ng mga Oh, long distance. Yun. Yes. Naku, hindi pa rin mauso masyado cellphone nun. Ang hirap pa nun ha, mag-communicate. Uh, oh. Actually, yun, isa, yun yung isa sa naka, ano, eh, naka-capture sa kanya. Kasi at that time, they had this Siemens phone or those, yung mo nag-fold-fold lang. Text messaging was there na. Free pa nun okay. ang text messaging. She didn't know about that. And I started sending messages to her there. And doon siya na-amay. Sabi, oh my God, how is he able to do this? <laughs> 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 It's space to be techy. You have postpaid with Globe before. Kasi nag-subscribe ako ng postpaid. Free pala yung text message. Kaya mm-hmm. sobrang na-amaze ako. Kasi, sabi ko, bakit may mahala? Bakit may kaya niya itong in-message? A text? Paano to? Paano to? So, yun. The more ako naging curious kung bakit <laughs> Nadaan ka, Miss M, sa technology ni Sir Coco, you know? <laughs> During that time, 97 din ako nag-graduate ng college. But then, siguro I only have two weeks to uh, to enjoy my vacation after the graduation. Because mm-hmm. nag-work na kami. I really want to earn agad. Sabi ko, tama, oo, tama na yung rest. Mag-work na ako. So, even though Coco is in Manila, nasa sa buha ko, we both work. May mga trabaho kami that time. So, oh. kaya afford na postpaid, <laughs> tapos mag a month, kasi may mga promos yung airlines. So, wow, ang bongga nyo nun. Nagkikita na kayo agad oh, monthly, 1990s pa lang. Hindi pa ganun kamura masyado yung air, airfare, di ba? Pura pa, alam mo. Grand Air pa nun eh. Yun, kung naalala nyo yung Grand Air. <laughs> alam, hindi ko na nga alam yung Grand Air. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> mong Grand Air. Meron yun, I meron think, before. Saglit lang sila. Grand Air was bought by uh, Pal Express na rin. So, apart na rin siya ng Pal Fleet. Oh. Mm-hmm. Sir, may, Sir Kokoy, Miss M, if I may ask lang, hmm, during the times na mag-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend kayo, nakakapag-usap ba kayo about finances or kanya-kanya kayo diskarte? Hmm. Ito siguro yung I'm something na proud of na I really, uh, as early as now, sinishare ko to sa mga kids. Every time you spend money, that's hard-earned money for you. So talagang will spend siya. Example, uh, that time na mag-boyfriend-girlfriend na kami, uh, sobrang nagtitipid na kami kasi while working, meron kasi akong obligation sa bahay. We're eight in the family. Tapos lahat kami, merong kanya-kanyang contribution. My contribution that time, I remember, is ako yung tagabili ng mga sabon na pa- panlaba at saka paligo at saka shampoo. So every time, I don't know nga, ang galing ng parents, hindi naman sila graduate, no? Pero ang galing nila, every sweldo ko, bibili ako ng sabon na panglaba at saka paligo. Yung sister ko naman, na older sa akin, ang assigned naman sa kanya is bigas. Bibili siya ng isang kabang bigas kasi yun yung supply ng family. So, with that, tipid-tipid. Tapos, ang only way na magsisave ako because I work in the bank. Banker kasi ako. I graduated from business administration. So, before kasi dalawa lang yun eh. It's either accountancy ka, magiging accountant ka, or business administration course ka, and then you will work in the bank. Yeah. And I have a sister working in the bank. Siya yung, oo, siya yung parang gusto ko. ko ito na lang, kasi tamad ako, ayoko mag-board, mag-board exam. <laughs> Sabi ko dito ako, kasi yeah. walang board exam. Right? Mag-board exam ako. And gusto ko yung uniform ng bank, kasi di ba mga yeah, sexy, ganda nila tingnan. Na. <laughs> Kaya yung, work ko, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, may na papano to spend. Kasi nga, pag, alam mo, pag pinaghirapan mo talaga yung money, yes. Yes. alam mo eh, paano spend. Wala magturo po sa akin talaga. Maybe because of the subject that I took when I was in college. 
alam ko din na kahit pa paano, I have to save kahit 10% of my sweldo na savings talaga. And ito, hindi ko siya malagay-lagay sa bank kasi nagabang ko din ako. I can easily withdraw it. Right? Yeah, oo. So, May access mo, ka kasi. So, ang ginawa ko, puso yung pahulugan ng jewelry. Yung Oh, yeah. 90s to early 2000 years. Yes. So, kunyari, ang hulog ko sa kanya is 500 per payday. So, 1,000 a month. In one year, meron na akong magandang raise. Kasi, si, tinuro din ng mom ko yun in case daw, yan, yeah, investment din daw ang jewelry. So, but promise, you know, my mom is only grade 4. So, so, How come? Alam niya yun. So, pero dun ko, na, dun ko natutunan sa kanya yun. One of my investment while I'm single is yun. Naghulog ako ng mga malakas para maipon ko yung money ko. Yeah, parehas tayo, Miss oh. M. Ako din. Kasi parang I cannot save enough money to buy yung isang buong set. So what I do is naghulog ako. Then later on, you'll realize, ay, meron na pala ako nito. Ang dami kong bracelet na gold noon, siguro pang-anim. Kasi yun yung investment ko talaga eh. Tapos minsan, if may bonus, kasi bank married kami, hanggang 16 month, ano kami, bonuses nun eh. So pag may, since yun lang ang obligation ko sa house, and simply lang naman ang buhay before, kung meron kang boyfriend, hindi naman katulad ngayon, na anywhere, yes. there's Starbucks. Right? Mm-hmm. So, and ay, it's a must to travel ang couple. Oo. So, ang dami kong alahas na. Tapos minsan, pag may cash ako, binabayad ko ng cash. So, mas nakakamura ako. ba diba? May discount rather dun sa sa kulugan ko. So, with that, I, I, you know, hindi ko alam yun while doing that before. But now, sabi ko, oh, amazing. Kaya pala na-experience ko yun. Kasi, it will lead me now kung sana ako ngayon. Yes, yeah, simple tricks. Ako. Simple ganyan na parang, oh, okay, natutog pala ako ng ganong diskarte. ba? Diba? Minsan kasi sa buhay, kailangan mo lang diskarte. And what about si, si Sir Cocoy naman? Hindi din masyado eh. No, kasi si Cocoy... Medyo mas magastos lang ako. Lumaki kasi oh. sa Makati. Right. Oh, Manila boy Tapos, kasi siya. Makati. Tapos yeah. graduate siya ng doon, boss ko, Makati. Yeah, you, you tell your story. <laughs> yeah, I graduated high school. Entered UP, entered PMA, went back to UP. But ano naman, na, well, actually, I gained a lot of discipline from the academy. My state was mm-hmm. military. So after that, when I started working, I just, uh, kung ano lang kailangan ko. But of course, at that time, hindi pa naman kami kasal. Maraming mga, ano pa rin, barkada-barkada, yaya, di. Mm-hmm. Yung, kung ano yung mga... Uh, ginagawa ng young single professionals right now. You yes. you don't save, you usually spend, yes. you 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 have uh, like once a week gatherings with your friends. Exactly. Para may, sa- may mga every Thursday kaming nakita, gano'n. Faces? Uso pa yan faces noon? Yes. Ay, grabe pong matanda yung faces. <laughs> <Hindi kami doon. laughs> Our older gen. <laughs> Yun yung mga pinangat Faces sila yung ano, <laughs> nagka-face. Hindi ko alam mo, ano yung faces? At that time, Quinn. What's faces? What's faces? I don't Matanda know. Matanda na nga uh, daw yun. Matanda uh, daw yun. So, oh my God. You Google it. 60s, uh, 1980s. <laughs> Uh-huh. Sige, I will. I will, sir. I will I will Google it now. Sige po. Direct, tuloy na ang kwento mo, sir. <laughs> Uh, faces, yeah, nakikita mo. It's basically where the hip people go to, but those were the young, those, those were the yuppies. Na, that, that. Yeah. Mahal dun eh. But you know, there's a whole picture. Kokoy also is, he knows also how to make this card eh? because his job before, he will accept the offer if the company uh, will provide a, a Service, a company car. <laughs> Kasi, oh. wala siyang car. Marunong mag-pot. Every time, nag apply siya, namimili siya. Kasi, sobrang nakakaingit nga sila. Dahil ako, pag nag-apply ako before ng bank, at utak, naglalakad ako, bit-bit yes. diploma ko, bit 
transcript of records ko, naka-high heel ako. Basta nilalakad ko yung Makati. In his case, pag sinabi daw kasi na Lasal graduate ka, Ateneo graduate ka, UP graduate ka, parang... May edge. Over. Oo, kaya siya. Sobrang lucky siya. Sabi ko, oh my God, alam ko lang po. Dapat dito din ako nag-aral para hindi <laughs> ko na kailangang mag-apply. But, you know, hindi, it was not hard for me then naman because my only, the only thing that I want is to work in a bank. And so far naman, lahat naman yun, okay naman sila. So parang okay. Pero sa case niya, yun nga, since hindi siya marunong magtipid, kailangan meron siya sasakyan. Fast forward tayo sa love story namin. So yeah. when we have a long distance relationship, sabi namin, sayang yung pera natin. Kasi pag umuwi siya sa Cebu, syempre, he cannot stay in my place. So nag-hotel siya. Suspended na naman yun. At saka air Sabi ko, ah, hindi po pwede ito kasi nga ako nga may kunting discipline on the money or on the finances. So sabi ko, sana ba, sana ba papatungo yung relationship natin? So sabi niya, sige, uh, ipon tayo para, we are so proud of ourselves, no? Because lahat ng kung ano mang meron kami, everything that we spend during our wedding, it's our hard earned money. So, when we had a plan na in two years' time, mag-asawa kami, iniipon namin lahat yung sweldo namin. Kasi oh. we want to spend on our wedding. Importante po talaga na may goal para at least, di ba, may pinupuntahan yung money. Kasi pag walang goal, wala kung ano-ano lang gasto. So, you were saying kanina, Miss M, na you were having a goal with Sir Kokoy, right? So what we did, pinupul namin yung uh, paycheck namin every payday. Iniipo namin into a common fund. Nag- oh, we opened an, a joint account. I-deposit niya din yung share niya at saka yung share ko. Kasi nga, gusto namin, by this day, gusto namin magpakasal. And nakalagay pa dun ha, dapat kami ang gagasto sa kasal namin. Not oh, from oh, our nice. Oh, That's para nice. sa lahat po ng nice. nakikinig at audience natin. First of all, nag-DTR si Ms. Ms. It means determine the relationship. Tinanong niya, saan to patungo? Yes, Kasi, diba, correct. Kasi siyempre, oo, oh, oh, saan? Hindi nagsayang Tayo na Tayo ba yung maglolokohan lang, oh? Kasi minsan, I mean, it happens now na parang ang tagal na, 10 years magkasama, minsan they live in the same house for how many years. As in, kulang na lang talaga, you carry the last name of the of the, of the the guy. Or alam mo yon talagang i-declare kayo as husband and wife. Kasi even your family, common friends, Parang they know na ito yung kasama mo ever since. So, it's important that you DTR, determine the relationship, and then you plan. Kasi talagang hindi natin maiiwasan na sa bawat relasyon, romantic man, family man, really, um, friendship, money, or finance is part of it. ba diba? Kahit sa friends mo, nanghihiram ka ng pera. Sa kapatid mo, sa magulang mo, especially sa Pinoy na regular setup nag tayo or tumutulong tayo sa family natin. Which is very common sa atin, sa ating lahat yes. dito. Diba? Yes. Kasi kami rin po ni Therese, tumutulong din kami sa aming family. Sa family. So, same with you sa family. Wait ko ba, sir, ko, may ganun din? You, Mukhang you, hindi. <laughs> you also give, uh, parang katulad ni Ms. M, you, you provide for the family din po or hindi? You live uh, independently? No. My 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 parents were, were a bit, little bit well off the budget, so actually, no, the first check I had, I did give the mm-hmm. first fifteen days. Ko, sabi wow, ko, Ma, this for you. Oh, that's like, Ma, this for you. Groceries. That was on the thirtieth day. Another fifteen. Sabi niya, anak, sa niya bibigay mo. Sabi ko, tapos na, okay na yon. What? <laughs> 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 Parang, kaya, I remember, kaya siya spender. Kaya siya spender. Nga, Wala yes. siya responsibility sa house. So ngayon po, na-establish na natin, sinong spender, sinong saver? <laughs> yeah, we want to hear. Kahit na obvious. Yes. Uh, may, let's make it official. Sino pong spender at saver? Nako, ito na, the revelation. You will be surprised. Mas maganda coming from him because 
siya yung nakafeel ka on how I spend. Alright? Mm. Sige, you answer. <laughs> Therese, you know, I always say this to you guys, di ba? If it's from Emily, it must be good. Expensive. <laughs> Nako, sir ko ako ay parang magkakasundo kami ni Miss Emily kasi ganyan din yung husband ko. Pag galing kay Roma yan, it's... Because <laughs> <laughs> I believe in quality. Exactly. Agree. Quality comes with the price. Oh, even sometimes I don't see the, 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 the thing or the things that I want to buy. If I know the price, oh, okay. If, di ba? Mm. Qual- quality. Yes, yes. Kaya I yes. go for, ano, pag sinasang expensive and little. So, hindi ako ang spender. Hindi ako. <laughs> <laughs> ako, ka, oh, di ba? And this is, a, this is, a, ano, ah, parang quick turn of events. <laughs> right now, Uy, bigla na bago yung, ano. I was expecting yeah. a spender, si Sir Kokoy, obviously, kasi wala yes. siya yung sense of responsibility nung maaga pa. Mm-hmm. Kung baga parang, okay lang, let's enjoy life. And then si Miss Emma agang natutong dumiskarte sa buhay. So, initially, I thought yun yung sasabihin nyo. Pero, it's different pala. So, now, ang saver is si Sir Kokoy. I wouldn't have the saver then. We we still, we both work on it. Based on goals pa rin naman eh. Like what we did here in our office. We set a goal on uh, on it. We, we knew the, the price tag that goes with it. So, mm-hmm. we computed Money coming in, and we said, okay, sige, let's do it. At this stage, we both ano naman talaga, work together on when it comes to savings. But when it comes to spending, yun nga, mas ano lang siya sa akin in terms of quality, no. in terms of <laughs> ano. No, maybe. But, but tama yung, the spending niya is, ano ha, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's, it's all parang grabe naman, exor- mm-hmm. exorbitant or amount or what, naman. lavish naman masyado, no. Mm-hmm. It's still on the practical side. So, oh. it's okay. Naitindihan ko naman. No, because if I can share with you guys, no, your beautiful ladies there. Ang dami ko kasing kolom dahil nga, I'm in, uh, I'm in, uh, a banker. Nakalagay doon, ito yung income mo, ito yung savings ko, ito yung travel ko, ito yung pang-spend ko. As long as, hindi ma-compromise yung family ko, Uh, I think naman, we provide a very good education for our kids. We have three boys. Our eldest in second year in La Salta, taking ano, uh, business management. And our two, ke- uh, two boys are in La Salle Subel. So, I think, ha, with that pa lang, kahit mag-spend ako, hindi ako magigilty. Kasi, we're in a good school and they, we provide bas sa akin wag lang i-compromise yung mga yung family ko. Yeah. Kaya yung pag-spend ko naman, I think ha, it's just a yung a sort of to reward myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I guess ano, ito yung sa nung sa unang episodes natin is acceptance. Na this is part of the budget. But at the same time, you prioritize kung ano man yung like your kids education, family budget, it's untouched. Yun yun. And accepted yes. ni Ms. M also this is how I do things and this is how I really want to, you know, I, I prefer quality over quantity. So, hindi, ta- hindi ako magko-compromise dyan. And uh, I will work for it. Parang ganoon. And not just for the education of my children. Even if we we, we do travels. Uh, yes. Kung pupunta man kami sa restaurant, eh, gusto ko yung maganda. Always. Kasi mm-hmm. kasama ko sila eh. Yes. And kung mamamash na kung meron man kaming pupuntahan na country, yung hindi nila napuntahan, alam mo yung hindi ko sila dahil yun sa, okay, let's go to Hong Kong, pero pala, yung place namin sa Hong Kong, yung para sobrang budget din yung hotel or yung place. So, sorry, hindi po elitista, pero I agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi agad na din po ang aming thinking pag nag, kaming nagtatravel. If you're really more on comfort, talaga, convenience. I agree with you, Miss M, na if you want to travel, you plan. Para naman, ma-relax ka talaga. Kasi that's the purpose of traveling it and to really enjoy din, di ba? So, I think si Therese ganun din sa family niya, eh, di ba? When yeah. you travel. Yeah. Hindi ako matiped mag-travel. 
Kasi, yun lang yung time ko for the family eh. Kasi, syempre, kaming mag-asawa, we're into sales. So, parang lagi yung time namin is depende sa oras ng client. So, parang kami lagi hinahapo. So, pag kami nag gusto namin yung parang, as much as possible, gusto namin yung resort, walang tao. Gusto rin namin yung walang wifi, para walang istorbo. <laughs> yung ganon, yung gusto namin magpahinga. Anyway naman, uh, kami kasi, binabudget talaga din namin. Kung magta-travel kami, may budget for that. So, wala magte-question kung how you spend it. Kung magsisplurge ka sa vacation. Anyway, it's for the family. Sabi nga ni Ms. M, kung kaya mo naman to spend mm-hmm. for your family, mm-hmm. why not? It's for your family. Anyway. Yes. Mm-mm. When you experience quality, Regardless sa service, sa, sa produkto, you'll never go back. Unless talagang yung sobrang, I don't know, mga minor-minor things. Pero minsan, maski nga minor, you want the good stuff na eh, di ba? So that, actually, pagka ganun din, kasi ang thinking mo, mas ano eh, hindi ka magastos. Kasi minsan, di ba, yung pabili-bili ka ng maliliit na like mo, sobrang mura, tapos madaling masira, napapadami ka ng gastos dun eh. Mas ano yun eh, mas hindi rin efficient when you look at it or when you when you ano diba, put it that way so ayan po na establish na natin na well of course nagkamali kami ng aming uh, <laughs> hula, hula kung sino ang spender at saver pero ngayon um can we ask po do you budget or are do you have like are you very strict when it comes to family budget sa so, kayong dalawa and sino po ang nagha-handle ng money like do you do it separately or Yeah, kasi may couple na kanya-kanya money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, sa amin, uh, papasok lang sa ATM ko, tapos bibigay ko lang din sa kanya. So, she handles it. <laughs> Padaan. <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> mabait, Full mabait trust. na asawa. Full trust. Ganyan din yung asawa ko. O, diba? Ako din, ganyan Siya din yung asawa ko. ko. Pero yung online, may access ako. Yes. <laughs> Ganyan din ang husband ko. Actually, in our case naman, I love to delegate things kasi. Mm-hmm. Even sa kids now that we are in quarantine, mm-hmm. alam niyo, meron silang sariling household chore a day. Kung meron tayong goal, ako, ano yung goal ko? Very short lang. Let's say, in a day, ano yung gusto mong gawin? Same thing, contribution. Same thing with me na it will really make me relieved or happy. With Kokoy naman kasi, naki, kasi 20 years na po kami, sabi ko nga, 20 years na kami naglukuhan. Kasi, <laughs> tama pa yung boyfriend-girlfriend na, 23 years. Nakita ko na kung paano, kung may tenta. May times, no, na hindi ko kinuha yung ATM niya. Yung sweldo niya, pera niya nandyan lang. Pagka uwi ko sa bahay, nag-order siya ng yung scooters scooter electric scooters eh since that no yung that's plural a plural that's eight <laughs> scooters oh 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 eh tatlo anak namin binog order siya ng tatlo noon galit na galit ako because yung <laughs> elder namin is 19 years old he has a car eh bakit mo kailangan ng scooter magka-drive lang na ito <laughs> Ganon siya. Yung parang, I, I mean, hindi siya practical when he spend money. Sige, Sir oh, Kokoy. Just... Sige, Sir Kokoy. Ito ko lang programang ito para ano, ipagtanggol mo po ang side mo. Bibigyan ka namin ng pagkakataon sa segment na to, Sir. <laughs> Magpaluhanag po kayo. <laughs> It wasn't for me. It was Christmas. Tapos pag nasa grocery diba? siya, it's so funny. Pumupunta siya dun sa mga sales. Mm. Ito nang ano to, kasi malapit na mag-expire. Okay, I appreciate that. Nakatipid tayo. Pero, pag hindi natin makonsume yan, bago yes. mag-expire, eh, sayang. Kasi ganun ang lalaki, not like us, na parang mm. mabusisi. Oo, na bago natin i-release. I, I mean, maybe because of the experience when I was younger, I would say impulsive lang din siya. Ah, uh, maybe, Kasi, maybe. Very impulsive. Bumili ba naman tatlong scooters? Oh, <laughs> impulsive talaga. That's <laughs> a very mag- 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 impulsive buying. 
yung tatlong scooter na yon yung isa binenta ko, yung dalawa para sa anak ko. Kasi, kasi yung panganay, yung panganay namin, may sarili, may kasi kotse. may ginagamit ng car eh. May kotse! So, yung dalawa lang talaga. Hindi, kasi nagalit ako sa iyo Until now, yung isa, hindi pa open. Hindi nasa box open. pa. <laughs> oh! O, oh, kaya pala. Now I understand. Kaya naman pala mabay si Sir Coco. Pinadadaan na lang yung sweldo. Baka kung ano pa yung mabili ulit eh. Exactly. <laughs> Tapos sometimes hindi na po tayo mga dates ng card niya. Kaya sabi ko, akin na lahat. Binigay mo sa akin. Ipapahid ko lang din yan. Kasi minsan, if I don't have your card, sabi ko, can you, can you swipe your card if I need something? Okay. Okay lang siya ng okay naman din. Pag nag-spend siya na doon sa card niya. But hindi mo napanda yung GD. And I'm very particular on that. Na kung oh, yeah. yung charges, yung fees, yung late charges. Yeah, bilang bankero na- kayo, Ms. M. So alam na alam niyo yan. I think ano, no, perfect combination si Miss M tsaka si, si Sir Kokoy talaga. Kasi parang yung isa, monitor, uh, due date now. Ano? Kailangan, you have to pay. Yung isa naman, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay lang. So, gana- <laughs> Relax na relax. Chill na chill. I think the combination is perfect. No, the, the, There's balance. Yeah. There's balance. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng pagparehas. Ba may mga couple na parehas na mas mahigpit sa pera and then later on parang nire-resent nila yung isa't isa. Feeling nila masyado nilang tinitipid yung sarili. And then meron namang couple na mga parehas na enabler. So, kung yung isa mm-hmm. siya pingero, yung isa rin siya pingera. So, yun, sumasabog yung finance. So, like with us kaming mag-asawa, so, ako yung spender, yung asawa ko yung saver. So, minsan, nahihiya ako mag-spend. Kasi, syempre, parang yung asawa ko, hindi nga, hindi nga bumili. So, parang ako din, kahit pa paano nakukonsensya. So, yung, minsan, talaga ba, sis? Eh, talaga parang, ba? Talaga ba? Ay, 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 three things that you do when you receive your monthly income. So, pag dumating na, andyan na, pumasok na yung sweldo, ano po yung priority nyo or masasabi natin, inuuna nyo? Those payments. Bills. Okay. okay. The kids kasi, we put, ako, mahilig ako mag-transfer kasi they have a bank account. Binibigyan ko sila, nagka-transfer ako in case, but I always tell them, Nagka-transfer like ako, but just put it in your ATM. Mm-hmm. Sabi ng anak ko, for what? Sabi ko, in case of emergency. But once is med ng anak ko yun, kailangan niyang i-account sa akin yun. So, the rest of our, kasi sa awa ng Diyos, ano naman ngayon, no, yung what we earn in a monthly basis is sobra. May na- nasa-save mm-hmm. na talaga. So we only would flow from our salary or from our income kung ano yun lang yung kailangan. kailangan. Kaya yung mga credit card, naka ano na yun, naka-calendar na rin yun. Nabawal tapas ng due date. So kung meron mang kaming bibilihin na hindi naka-plan or want na hindi naman kailangan pwedeng ibilihin, hindi namin kukunin doon sa income namin. Doon sa emergency fund. When I say emergency kasi, hindi lahat din. Kasi meron na rin kaming provision for emergency talaga. Kung baga, ano lang yun? Miscellaneous fund. Yeah. Na Kami ako may ganyan. Pwede, may miscellaneous. Oo. Uh, 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 yun pwede lang yung ka pwede mong galawin. Example, 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 pumunta ako sa appliances. Tapos na may isa ko dun sa... Oh, egg, egg uh, what do you call it? Egg boiler or something? Mm, like yeah, yeah, I know that. Mm, it's very cute, yeah, that one. Tapos, eh, ako kasi, kaya ako gusto siya. Dahil hindi ma-perfect ng aming kasama sa bahay. 
yung gusto ko, ayoko kasi yung hard-boiled egg. Gusto ko yung soft. Content. Malasado. So, doon yeah. kasi, nakalagay kasi doon, uh, ilang minutes, if you want this yes. kind of egg. So, sabi ni Kokoy, ay, huwag na yan, kasi pwede naman yung i-manual. Sabi ko, hindi. Gusto ko to, kasi uh, nasasatisfy ako eh. Kunin ko lang naman yun sa miscellaneous fund ko. Hindi yeah, naman, as long as hindi nag yung monthly budget, okay lang yon So, yun yung, yung tinatawag Kailangan natin, sis, na minsan, di ba, may mga emergency fund tayo na sa totoo lang, hindi yes. emergency. Pero feeling natin, emergency to, kailangan bilhin to. <laughs> yes. Pero actually, ano, no, napakaganda. Kasi talagang sila yung living example nung pinag-uusapan natin in the previous episodes. And even if they are, like ngayon, uh, kakasabi nga nila, they're earning more than enough. Pero pinapractice nila yung sinabi natin sa last episode at kung hindi nyo po napanood, balikan nyo po after nyo panoorin to. Uh, the, the pilot episode, we talked about living within or below your means. So, hindi ibig sabihin na maraking pumapasok na pera, eh, kailangan, alam mo yun, ubusin mo lahat. Kasi, yes. ito lang naman talaga yung ginagastos nyo, why do you have to go more than that? Or why do you have to finish the entire fund, di ba? So, yun. And yun, so, binigit din natin na the importance of having emergency fund. Kung kanina yes. narinig mo si Ms. M, sinabi niya that they've already prepared for the emergency fund. So, kung meron man silang gustong bilhin, hindi nakakakonsensya kasi mm-hmm. yung responsibilities nila sa bills nila, sa savings nila, nagawa na nila. So, if they have an excess na gusto nilang gamitin sa kung anong gusto nilang bilhin, they can do that. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yes. And hindi na kay question ng mag-asawa. Kasi syempre, pag tinanong ng husband, si wife, nabayaran mo na ba yung bills? Ba't ka bibili ng automatic boiler ng egg? Eh kung sinabi ni wife, done na lahat. So kung magaw, hindi ka makikwestiyon, hindi ka matatanong ng nagsispend ka ng into something na unnecessary. Because this time around, yes, you may think it's unnecessary, pero they have the luxury to do that because they've, they're, mm-hmm. they've, they're already done with the bills and the savings. So, they have extra to do that. They've prepared for it, kumbaga, sa, ma- sa madalit sabi. And, alam po namin, yung iba nararamdaman nyo, siguro, pahabang pinapanood nyo to, masasabi nyo na lang or mapapatweet nyo na, sana all. Of course, y- syempre, hindi naman po lahat, hindi, at th- this, yung ganyan, hindi naman, it, it didn't happen overnight or, or over yes. the past, ano, what, one year, two years. Kumbaga sila, they had financial uh, awakening at the very early years. Kumbaga, yeah, si Ms. M. Yung, diba? Mm, diba? Uh-oh. And, kung isa kayo sa mga nagsasabi ngayon na sana all, well, ito yung i-goals natin for this year or for the next coming years and months. Ito yung i-goal natin. Magkaroon tayo ng miscellaneous fund, magkaroon tayo ng emergency fund. And that is why we are we are very happy again. The show is happy to have Miss uh, Emily and Sir Kokoy kasi we want people, families, couples, individuals to be inspired with how they, you know, go through their finances and at the same time, relationship. Diba? Yes. Okay. Ang ganda-ganda ng topic natin. Ngayon, I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, Miss M. So, let's move dun sa kids ninyo, no? So, how do you how how you educate your kids about money. Nabanggit mo kanina that you put a little amount on their bank accounts. So does it mean you give them allowance on a monthly, weekly basis or yung money ba na nilagay mo na yun is just an extra? Actually, uh, this is what I learned also. Ha? They were in school, no? Papasok sila. Naglalagay ako ng budget sa kanila kasi I treat them like working also like us. Kasi going to school, okay, alam mo, mag-aaral ka, but ang mindset ko sa kanila is, you're working. Kaya, you need to, to be paid. So, even though, meron silang baon, but they love, mas na-enjoy kasi nila yung gawan sila ni Coco ng sandwich, going to school. So, meron ako talagang daily allowances sa kanila. And for them to appreciate, eto ha, for me lang din, ako lang din, nakita ko lang on how yung effect sa kanila kung gano'n sila katuwa nun. Example, 200 pesos a day. If that is five days, kasi weekly ako nagbibigay ng, ng allowance. 
kung mahawakan na nila yung 1,000 pesos, nakakatuwa ha, basic mm-hmm. kami, count nila yung 1,000 pesos nila, meron silang index card. So, Monday, I have 1,000. What is your spending today? Pag uwi nila sa gabi. Kunyari, bumila sila ng my, my pizza, sa Angel's Pizza, kasi yun ang gusto ni Waki. Meron sila dun sa school. <laughs> Di ba bawas ang 1,000 niya? With that naman, gusto ko lang silang ma-exercise. Yung para sa kanila, hindi lang eating everything na, okay, I'll just put it in in my wallet and I'll just count it on Friday kung whatever left. So, nakakatawa kasi na-exercise nila. Alam nila yung debit credit. Kasi kung oh. at, on Friday, pag may sobra, kung may credit sila the following day, palaki-laki. So, nakakatawa yun. Ha? Share ko sa inyo. Sobrang natuwa ako. Instead, magalit ako. Tawa ko ng tawa. <laughs> I gave them tatlo sila. But I think it was three years, four years ago, tatlo sila. So, tago 1,000 pesos regardless of Sino Age. ang mas matanda or sino ito? Dapat fair. Kasi parang oh. sila kumakain. Pareho naman yung mm. gratis ko. So, oh. Kumagasa sila. Yung, yung anak ko, sabi niya, very aggressive. Nagulat siya kasi meron siyang 1,000 pesos. Sabi daw niya sa friends niya. Kasi nakikiride siya. Sabi niya, can I go to McDonald's? It's a drive-thru. Hindi e, pumayag <laughs> yung nag-drive sa kanya. Haba, nilibre niya lahat. Ang nabayad niya, 800. 800. So, oh, ubos ang... 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 How sad he is when he gets home. He gets home. Sabi niya mo, hmm? uh, it's the only money I have. Why? What happened? Sabi niya, because I thought when I said drive through, uh, they would pay for their orders. But you know what happened? I, I pay everything. So, alam mo, tumawa ako because yung reaction niya na next time pala, hindi ko na gagawin to. Yeah, uh, they realize niya. Yeah. Oo, more ako on the experience kasi para mm-hmm. for you to understand. Bakit? Kasi pag sinasabi lang natin minsan at walang feelings, hindi yan effective. Yeah. So with that, nakakatawa. So, g- ganito, pag gabi pa lang, ito, ay, magkano ng pera ko. Tapos, kung meron na silang na-save that week, let's say weekend, Sunday, normally we go to church and then eh, ikot sa mall. Pag gusto nila ng Starbucks, not from our pocket. Kasi sabi ko, oh, remember, uh, you save for allowance. the week. You have allowance. Mm-hmm. I I remember dun sa end card mo, meron kang 350 left or may so hindi na siya hinihingi sa amin while in the mall kung gusto na nila mag Starbucks but talaga pa rin sinasabi you know what yung Starbucks mo that's 180 pesos ang makal no samantalang hmm. yung allowance mo to because it's just Starbucks ilang percentage na ng allowance mo ang nawala sa iyo but 18% but agad kasi, okay. <laughs> Telling them that way is you're educating them. Yeah, I'll do talaga. that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Kasi yung daughter ko, bibigyan ko, tapos nauubos agad. Ito naman yung naisip ko. Why why giving them allowance? Kasi in the real world, pag nagtabaho na sila, papasok ka, you will get paid. So spend yes. your your bills. So as early as now, tinitrain, I don't know, saan ko ba nakuha yan? So gusto ko lang siyang gawin. Yeah, so lang ganda. I'll do that. I'll do that na parang paggabi pala, isusulat mo yung gymnastos. Mm-hmm. Sige, I'll do that to my daughter. Kasi siya lagi siyang nagugulat, wala na siyang pera. Mm-hmm. Nagugulat ako, wala ka ng pera. Sabi ko, extra lang to, emergency lang to. Pero every time nag ako ng emergency ko, box. I think sis, kasi ang iniisip ng anak mo, the, lalagyan naman ni mami yan eh. Unlike si Miss M, talaga, pag, un- bakit? Ang, ang next na ilagay natin, next week, o pag naubos mo na siya, wala kayong pera. Kaya na, 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 ano yung anak niya, natakot na, 200 na lang yung pera ko. And I think, ano, no, yeah. napaka, for the first time kong nakarinig ng ganito, and sobrang nakakatawa, kasi ay, maganda po, kung kayo ay magulang na nakikinig po ngayon, or mga tita na may pamangkin that you give allowance to, I guess, this is a good practice that maybe you can adapt or you can try. Kasi, the kids will understand or and value money. Ako po kasi, 
I grew up na yung nanay ko, lagi niya naman kaming sinasabihan, kami magkakapatid, na, oh, mag-ipon kayo. Kung baga, lagi niya sinasabi, mag-ipon kayo, but hindi niya sinasabi kung magkano or hindi niya kami tinuruan kung paano. So for us, uh, mag-ipo kayo, sige. Like for example, when we were kids, pamasko, magbibigay ang pamas- ng pamasko. So automatic, di ba, ang bata abot sa nanay. So pag halimbawa may nagbigay ng 500, bigay ko sa, sa nanay ko. So ako, alam ko, may limang daan ako. Pero syempre, nagkakalimutan na kaming magnanay nun. <laughs> Hindi ko na alam kung saan na napupunta. So parang, pag nabigay ko na sa kanya, almost good to nothing. Tapos, pag binigyan niya ako ng pera, parang mauubos ko. Kasi on my end, yung nga rin yung pinag-uusapan natin last time, di ba? Uh, feeling namin, wow, may pera ako. I can spend this. I can spend everything. I can buy what I want. Pero hindi ko iniisip na in the next coming days, wala na akong gagamitin or wala na akong, uh, wala na akong i-spend. To a point na nadala ko yung pagkabulagsak na gano'n na concept. Kasi for kids, minsan yung parents sasabihin, bata naman yan eh. Oo. Oh. Nagadala ko when you grow up, when you go to work, pag nagsisweldo ka na, and especially kapag ang tao nakaka-experience ng earning their own money, iba talaga eh, lalo na first few years, ang dami mong nabibili. Even po OFWs, yun nga rin, na-mention natin before, di ba? Common po sa OFWs na when they go abroad, the first few years, tagda mo lahat, ang daming nabibili niyan. To a point na walang nasisave. Aminin niyo po, mga OFW, so kayo mag, wag kayo mag, ano dyan, wag kayo mag deny deny dyan, totoo yan. <laughs> Lahat, branded from head to foot, pero walang savings. Yeah, Kasi, oo. Sa, yung Siguro hindi na tuturuan ng bata ka, sabik, ng maaga. Sabik kasi, sabik, and you, you don't really, uh, you don't uh, monitor your spending. So maybe first time you, makahawak ng malaking pera. Usually ganun eh. Yun. Diba? So maganda yung binanggit ni Miss M na binigyan niya ng autonomy yung mga anak niya. Na once a week, yes. binibigyan niya ng money. And then, yes, you'll be responsible well, yeah. for that money. Mm-mm. And also, so when, yun, imagine mo, pag bata ka pa lang, ginagawa mo na yun. Kung baga, parang ano mo na yun, muscle yeah, memory mo na yun. Naging habit na sa yun. <laughs> Do you also teach your children how to save? Kasi aside sa, yun nga, paano nila gastos sa inyong pera. Aside from that, paano mo sila tinuturuan mag-ipon? Ang reason lang naman kasi nila bakit sila mag-save, di ba? Kasi hindi naman katulad sa atin na ah, kailangan ko dahil for education. Sila kasi, kaya sila nag-save at the very young age ngayon ha, dahil may gusto silang bilhin. Example, mm-hmm. yung shoes. Mahilig talaga yung mga anak sa shoes. O oh, grabe sila talaga. They're so addict. Lahat natin na travel namin, wala na sila ibang pupunto ha, <laughs> hindi shoes. Let's say, sample ko lang, yung shoes one time. Mabigat kasi din masyado pag sinabi ko sa kanya, oh, if you want that kind of shoes, so you have to save it. Kasi alam ko naman na eto, limited lang din yung budget ko for them. So at least kahit pa pano, they exercise na yung pag-save na okay, okay lang ma, kung meron akong na-save na 3,000 pesos, eh di kunti na lang ang dagdag ko. It's a, again, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. ah, I'm teaching them how to save. So, not necessarily na mag-save ka na mag-save. But you know, it's so amazing lang din kasi share ko sa inyo. Like index card yung pinapagawa ko sa kanila. Ang ganda nun kasi nakikita talaga nila yung figure, yung numbers nila. Mm-hmm. Na, uy, bakit nung Monday, ang spending ko? Bakit nung Monday, wala akong spending? So they realize na, ay, wala pala akong baon. I did not bring baon. So kaya ako mm-hmm. nag-spend. Ang ganda ng exercise nun for the mm-hmm. kids. But now that they are 19, 17, and 15, hindi na po sila index card, ATM card na sila. And access dun sa online. The purpose of the online kasi na-check again. <laughs> oh. oh. I was about my next question kasi kay Miss Ms. Tsaka kay Sir Kokoy, di ba may ATM? Nag-ano ba? Nag-register ba kayo yung tipong pagkinaskas may magta-text sa inyo? Kasi di ba kayo mga gano'ng features sa inyo? Pag nagbabayad ako ng credit card, nagte-text kay Jeff. Tapos ita-text na, ano to? Bakit may ano? May spending? Yung susunod na. <laughs> may susunod na gano'ng text. Pero pa kayong gano'ng text? Gano'n po yung ginawa niyo sa kanila? Hindi pa. Kasi I think siguro since maliit 
sila na instill ko na sa mind nila. Alam you really right trust now, them. Oh, the trust is there. Even my, even my eldest. Pag nag-share ako ng, nag-transfer ako ng account sa kanya, sabihin na lang niya sa akin, oh ma, by the way, the money that we transferred is gone because of this. I-account niya sa akin. Ano yung pinabayaran mm-hmm. ko sa kanya? Eh, mahilig ako ngayon no, nagka-quarantine tayo. Mahilig ako nagpapa-deliver ng food and pumapasok mm-hmm. ako sa office. So, lang maiwan. So, ito maha, wala ka ng pera sa akin yung transfer mo. So, alam mo, one of my realization, nakakatuwa yung kids. Ganun itong panganay ko because pag nagka-transfer ako sa kanya, he knows that money is not for him. So, mm. accountable siya. Responsible. Uh, maybe lang talaga is na ano ko siya, na in, na-educate ko or na, mm. na, na, na-share ko sa kanila how important. So, so maganda. So far, maganda. Ko, so, parang Miss M, confident ka na kapag itong tong eldest mo gumraduate, most likely marunong na siya maghawak ng pera niya. Yes. Kasi alam mo yung responsibility ko sa kanya ngayon. You have no matter what. Kasi eh, diba, nag-aalanganin tayo, mag-enroll ba dahil sa online. Sabi ng eldest ko, ma, since online, kasi try some ang lasal. Sabi ko, since online, can I not just enroll? Kasi sayang naman yung another term. Sabi ko sa kanya, no matter what, you have to because you are the eldest of the family. So, what is my responsibility if I'm the eldest? In in the event, kasi nga, we are in, I don't know, we are in insurance yes, companies. Yes. Uh, we know uh, that everything is a debt, certain. So, palagi kong sinasabi sa kanya, in the event na kukunin kami ni Lord, you are responsible for your two younger brothers. Mm-hmm. Kaya yung mindset niya right now. Well, I'm proud of him. The, the last term that meron siya, nag na siya, kasi bawal, wow. parang naka-mindset siya ever happen, hindi ako pwede, in, kailangan ko mag-graduate. Yes, because I'm responsible with my two younger brother in the event. Kasi ako din pinapafeel ko rin sa kanya right now eh, na I'm almost 50, so you want me to work pa ba? And you know, sila na rin nagsasabi sa kanila, ma, stop spending na. Kasi, like, mag-isa pa ko na ganito, sabi niya, ma, ano na, let's buy ano, retirement retirement house for you and dad. Yung mga ganon. So, sila na rin mm, nag-isip na hindi nga. Nakakatuwa. Oo. So, nakakatuwa lang din dun sa naging effect sa kanila. Kasi kami ni Coco, ang kaganda lang din sa work namin. That same yung field namin, same yung industry namin. So, even we having dinner, unconsciously na discuss namin sa kanila or kung nag nagkukuntuhan man kami naririnig nila so nakikinig pala sila so, nagiging wow. aware so, sila that it's important na, na happy kami sa ginagawa namin kasi sila din they are so proud also kasi nakikita nila eh, na hindi kami nag-aaway because like again we're a safe industry sila din natutuwa sa amin na uy maganda pala yung field nila or yung industry nila mom and dad because they're happy about what they're doing so, yes. and, I think it's important also na makikita. Yeah, and maganda yeah. magkasama kayo. Magkasama kayo and sa actually, work. And actually, ang maganda doon sa setting nila is, kumbaga, the kids are aware that they have responsibilities, mm-hmm. pero hindi to a point na masasandwich ka. Yung tinatawag ba na magiging part sila ng sandwich uh, generation na, parang yung responsibility is sila na yung magtutuloy kung ano man yung ginagawa ng parents. Kasi ang sinasabi nila is, in the event, that you know something bad happens, ikaw yung tata yung uh, head of the family. But at the same time, while they're preparing the kid or yung panganay, they were already handling tools to him and letting him understand na ito yung gamit niyan, ito yung how will you will use it. Unlike yung totally, walang walang idea yung bata, tapos biglang, okay, yeah. pag-graduate mo, ikaw na bahala, ikaw na, ikaw na yes. magtataguyod sa pamilyang to. Which is ano, uh, you know, still a common practice, pero sana nga, hopefully, through sa mga shows na ganito and through yung help ng financial advisors, ma- ma-enlighten yung mga susunod na generation na this is how to do it or this is the, one of the best uh, ways to approach yung ganong part ng buhay, kumbaga. Pero, always preparing. Uh, always preparing. On, on the lighter side of things, sa inyo pong dalawa may 
tinatakbuhan po ba yung mga kids pagka halimbawa may gusto talaga tapos pero kulang ang budget tumatakbo po ba kay Sir Coco na dad baka ano po pwedeng ano I really want this may ganun po bang event or talagang or talagang sige wala akong ano they're really strict sa kanilang budget kasi minsan may ganun sa parents di ba yun sabi yes, natin may mag-aabogado sa bata <laughs> kasi we taught them the habit of saving eh So they yes. save money and we tell them, just leave it because you want to buy stuff, di ba? Mm-hmm. So kung alam nilang short sila, they would usually come to me. Yeah. yeah. They would usually Sir, come to me. Sir, kung takbuhan. So how much, uh. <laughs> and how much are you going to buy? Ganito, do you really need it? Yung mga mm-hmm. tanong, hindi ko kagad sabihin. Sige, so, natin. Do you really need it? No, but I remember one time, Han, they came to you, especially Sean, and then sabi mo, okay, how much is the missing or lacking money for the things that you want to buy? Sabi mo, okay, pwede naman, instead of, this is your allowance a week, babawasan ko para makumpleto, kung baga nag-loan siya sa'yo. You remember that? Yeah, I think I did it one time. Oh, I did that saya. one time. So, ganito, if we're going to do that, you're going to still spend for it. And we will just advance it from your allowance. So, ito lang papasok sa allowance mo. <laughs> But at the same time, sige, sige, kasi may gratification na sila makukuha naman eh. Yeah, tsaka at least, yeah, yeah, kasi yung yung tinuruan na paghirapan mo. ba? Diba? It's not that easy. Yeah. Kasi syempre, pag hininga, usually hininga. Karami na mga bata ngayon talaga, privilege talaga sila at meron yung mga magulang eh. But for those only things that once ha, pero if need nila sa school, need nila sa sports nila kami, kasi kami no questions are really asked. into sports, no? No questions asked. Ako pa mismo ang magsasabi, okay, you want this, i-order ko na kung gusto mo, tapos ako ang magbabayad. Tapos, at, di ba, nakalockdown tayo, tapos nagbukas agad yung yung mall. Alam mo, ang unang pinuntahan namin is Decathlon. Hindi naman namin in-expect yung tawag nito, the, the lockdown will take that long. Yes. So, in terms of yung parang equipment mo sa house, alam mo kulang, nagsisharing yeah. sila. Yes. Yeah. So, ganun, sabi ko. So, when the lockdown uh, was lifted, yun, punta kami, we bought them their own mats. We bought them mm-hmm. some of those things na ginagamit nila, uh, those battle ropes and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, They're so into sports. Grabe. Ano? Yeah. Just, of, basta, if, it, if it's a need yes. for them, we don't tell them. Automatic na yun. Sabi na nga nagsasabi na kahit wala sinasabing to buy the gloves for the weights, sabi ko, ako nang bibili. O ito, may tagdaglas oh. kayo. So, parang in-anticipate. Okay. Oh. Oh. So, meron man silang kailangan. Sometimes, kaya hindi nabigay ng namin because not necessary to have them as kind of stuff na gusto nila. Kaya paghihirapan nila. Pero pagdating sa ano kasi, imagine mo, every time, lalo na pag nag-travel ako abroad, automatic po yan. Ha, sasabihin ko sa kanila, this is my schedule. So, during my shopping day, online sila lahat. Kasi, <laughs> naka-ready. So, ikot na ako. Naka-video call. Sasabihin ko, kasi I will not, ako din, sabi niya, no, uh, ako yung taga-spend. Hindi po ako bumibili na just to or have, else. or yeah. just to buy this because mm-hmm. have them something. No. Dapat yung gusto nila. What they really Para want. Na, yeah, yeah. Na. Mas ma-appreciate yeah. kasi nila yun eh, pag yung gusto talaga nila. So, so kung may salamat Shopee, yung yun yung, yung family nila ma, salamat mommy. Yeah, salamat <laughs> mommy. <laughs> may ticket kami ng US na no, April 28. So with that, alam alam na nila anong mangyayari. Sabi ko sa kanila, I'll give you this much, I'll give you budget, mm. bahala na kayo mag-spend. Pero na ko mm-hmm. kasi ayoko yung hinang So, with that, iisipin na nila ano yung bibili ko na maipagkasya ko sa pera ko. So, yung mga ganun, alam na nila, nila, kaya excited sila o na nila para wala na silang hingiin sa'yo. That's a very, yes. ano ha, good tip also for a family travel. Kasi minsan, mm-hmm. pag hindi mo sila binili ka ng budget, they will ask you, Mom, can yes. buy this? Yes. Bili na bili. Ikaw na wala ka ng wish mo. Kasi, Sobrang napapagod sa travel, na-enjoy mo. So sila, alam nila, okay, I will only spend this much. So, ito pa din. Yes. So, ganun lang siguro. And thanks to our job, thanks to our profession, because yes. na-share. You were able to do that. 
Mm-hmm. I think it's a very good practice na dapat, ano, kung baga parang i-share talaga sa lahat ng family. Kasi yung bigyan mo ng authority yung bata to spend and at the same time understand how money works in real world. Kasi regardless naman sa status mo sa buhay, pare-pareho naman ng taan eh. Lahat gagamit you... ng pera. Yeah. Oh, lahat gagamit ng pera. So, ba ba diba? Turuan mo. Para at the same time, sa kanya, hindi nakakahiyang pag-usapan ang finance. Diba? Yeah, maging normal yan. lang sa kanya yun. Kasi growing yes. up, he's been doing that. Diba? Kasi tinrato yes. siya parang equal. Oh, you have the autonomy to to spend the money so mm-hmm. he'll be more responsible for it. 